Brass Reviews. Today I'm gonna be reviewing Justice League. Directed by Zack Snyder and partially by Joss Whedon, this movie is a direct sequel of Batman vs Superman and it's also the fourth film in the DCU. Actually, it's the fifth film in the DCU. I kind of blocked out Suicide Squad from my mind. <laughs> I wonder why. It's one of the most anticipated films of the year and everybody has an opinion about this movie. The whole situation is generally a mess because there was a lot of reshoots and a lot of drama behind the scenes. Zack Snyder had to step away for a personal family tragedy and Joss Whedon took over. So going into this movie, I was really worried because I'm not a fan of Batman vs Superman. I like Man of Steel and I loved Wonder Woman and I didn't know where Justice League would fit in this whole thing. And I didn't like the trailers and I felt that the marketing campaign actually was a little bit inconsistent and kept changing throughout the months before the release of the film. So I didn't really get a feel of what this film is actually going to be like. Is it going to be a fun uh, comedy action hype romp or is it going to be like a serious sequel to Batman vs Superman in the same style and mood? However, now having seen the film, I personally found it to be enjoyable. It's an okay film, but it's not amazing. I I would have wanted it to be better than it was, but it's not as bad as I was afraid it was gonna be. So it's okay in the end. I don't know if people are gonna like what I say or gonna be super pissed off, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna say it anyway, and I'm gonna start with the top three things that I like about Justice League. Number three, the costumes. The wardrobe in this movie is actually really cool, and I think it's something that's underappreciated in this film and in all DC films. They somehow always manage to find a way to make the costumes feel like they are a callback to the comic book costumes, yet at the same time feel modern, relevant, and cool. And here it's no exception. I really like what Aquaman looked like, I love the Flash suit, and Wonder Woman's suit has been cool from the get-go, and Batman's suit in Batman vs Superman and here is some of my favorite Batman wardrobe. There's definitely some fantastic cosplay material here that I thought I wanted to point out because it's something that I personally like and enjoy. The number two thing I liked about Justice League was the comic book feel. This movie felt like a really authentic adaptation of a comic book. A lot of the times I felt the style of the storytelling and the visuals felt very reminiscent of what I would feel when I was reading a comic book. Which reminds me of Watchmen, which is a good thing because it's one of my favorite films and definitely my favorite film for Zack Snyder. There were a lot of moments in this movie that visually looked like comic book panels, which is really cool. Even though a movie is a different medium than a comic book, it's really nice when you're able to merge those two worlds and those two styles together and something really beautiful can come out of it and I thought that really happened Justice League. The number one thing I liked about Justice League was the characters. The members of the Justice League work in this film. They work as individual characters and they work well together and they have a lot of chemistry. And this was really what's gonna carry the film. If you didn't like the members of the Justice League, you're not gonna like the Justice League. My personal standouts are Aquaman played by Jason Momoa and The Flash being played by Ezra Miller. Which I had my doubts about because I'm such a fan of Grant Gustin playing Barry Allen in the TV series Flash. But I thought Ezra Miller did a really cool job. He was different than the Barry Allen that I know, but it worked for me and it was cool and it fit into this film and again he had a lot of nice chemistry with everybody else in the movie. Aquaman was pretty badass and I expected him to be badass because it's Jason Momoa and you can't go wrong with Jason Momoa, really. And I'm glad that he did not disappoint, I really enjoyed Aquaman, I would love to see an Aquaman standalone movie. Wonder Woman is consistently good, she's still amazing and she had really cool chemistry with Ben Affleck's Batman and their scenes are actually some of my favorite scenes in the whole film. Cyborg worked well for me, didn't work well as much as the others but still he was okay so all in all, all the members of the Justice League really worked for me, I enjoyed them, I liked every single one of them, they all had really cool moments in fight scenes and they also all had really cool funny moments and I enjoyed their presence and their chemistry together. And that wraps it up for the things that I liked and now time to dig into the things that didn't make this movie work for me with the top three things I didn't like about Justice League. Number three, the editing. This movie was not edited well as far as I'm concerned. It was very choppy, it was very messy and the pacing was inconsistent and weird. There were scenes that literally would just pop for two seconds and just suddenly get dropped and you're like whoa what happened? It was very confusing and uncomfortable and I really think it has to do with the reshoots and the changes and also has to do with the fact that Warner Brothers put out a mandate that they wanted all the theatrical releases to be two hours max and there were rumors that this film was around two hours 45 minutes and that 45 minutes were cut from it. That is a lot to cut out from a movie. So it really felt weird and condensed, there wasn't enough moments to breathe and really take in what was going on and it felt like rushed sometimes and even the fighting scenes felt a little messy and a lot of times I couldn't even keep up and this is really below the standards of a film of this magnitude. Speaking of substandard quality, the number two thing I didn't like about Justice League is the CGI. 
I was bothered by the CGI in the backdrops and the backgrounds in a lot of the scenes of the film, especially the third act of the film. The CGI in those scenes suffered a lot and it hurt the film and it made me feel like I'm watching a video game rather than a movie. Other than the bad CGI in the weird reddish hue sequence thing, which looks very different from the trailer by the way, the other thing that really suffered from the bad CGI for me was Cyborg's suit. This guy looked like a really weird version of the Tin Man. I think the suit design and concept was actually pretty cool, however in execution I felt like it suffered from substandard CGI that I would not expect from a movie of this caliber. I mean this is Justice League, it's supposed to look amazing, it's supposed to look almost flawless and it was not flawless, it was flawful. Is that even a word? This is probably due to the fact that some of the reshoots for this movie took place in July, which in movie time that's like yesterday. That's not enough time to render CGI properly and come up with stuff that should look better than this. The number one thing I didn't like about Justice League was some missing elements. At the end of the day, as a package, this movie kind of works, but there's a lot of stuff missing from it to make it more impactful after you watch it. The movie played it safe and it did not really delve deep enough into the story and into the characters. Yes, there were a lot of cool moments that are very good and very enjoyable, but also there were a lot of weak and weird moments that didn't seem to fit. And there was a lot of stuff that was set up in the beginning of the film that kind of disappeared. And when the setup does not pay off properly, you feel at the end of the film like you're left wanting. This made the film kind of fall flat sometimes and be forgettable. And this is Justice League. It's not supposed to be forgettable, it's supposed to stay with you for weeks and weeks and rewatches and discussions, but it's not. It finishes and you're like, okay, we have a Justice League. They look cool. Yay. This film went through a lot of stuff behind the scenes and sometimes that stuff doesn't really show or affect the film. However, here I feel like it did in fact hurt the final product. I think that it's a lot of cooks in the kitchen that made this film not as strong and as powerful as I want it to be. It's definitely not a bad film. It's an enjoyable experience, especially if you're a fan of the DC Universe and if you're a fan of these films in the first place, you'll definitely enjoy it. But if you're coming in fresh into the franchise and you're just watching Justice League, it's not the Justice League that you would dream of. And I wanted it to be more than that. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't amazing. It's somewhere in between and it's okay. And so I'm going to give Justice League a 6.5. On a side note, if the second half of this review looks a little different than the first half of this review, it's because Neo ran out of battery and I had to shoot the first half on one day and reshoot the second half on another day. Which is really ironic that this review suffers from a lot of reshoot issues. In terms of all the DCU films, my personal current ranking is Wonder Woman, Man of Steel, Justice League, Batman vs Superman, Suicide Squad. So let me know in the comment section, what is your ranking? And let me know, have you seen Justice League? What do you think about it? Do you agree with me, disagree with me? Do you think I'm a Marvel fanboy? Do you think I'm a DC fanboy? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section, and as always, like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to tell me what you'd like me to review for you next. See ya!